We're at the train station downtown, Niagara Falls, and that right there is the GO train that takes you from Toronto to Niagara Falls and then back to Toronto if you want to go back to Toronto if that's where you're traveling from. So it comes here every weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. good way to travel if you don't want to go by car a lot and you don't have to worry about traffic much easier way to get to the falls from Toronto something different to do and it's a long weekend this weekend here in Canada so Monday is a holiday and it's Labor Day and there will be lots of tourists in the falls today. And um, yeah, so that's a really nice way to travel. Nice little scenic tour on the train that comes to Nag Falls. So, hi. So we're gonna walk around downtown here and just to see what it's like downtown Queen Street and there's a building I want to go by that some people asked if I could walk by it before so I'm gonna do that today and hope you enjoy the walk so let's go so I think that the train the GO train that comes here from Toronto. Um, I think it parts from Niagara Falls pretty late at night. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it leaves from the falls, I think, seven o'clock in the evening. But don't quote me on that. I'm not totally positive, but I think it's something like that. So it gives you, you know, a good chunk of time to spend time here in the falls and there's a lot of people here waiting for buses and trains so let's just walk down here and there's a go bus here that also goes to I think Toronto and Burlington from here from the falls to those places. So we're on Bridge Street right now. building right here across the street bank so 
whoever owns this building has really taken good care of it. I don't know what's in it now. It's a pretty old building. building coming up here that I wanted to walk by. A few of you have mentioned it in comments. Now this building was used in the 1953 movie Niagara starring Marilyn Monroe and they used this uh, for the morgue in the movie. So that's the building here that was used as the morgue. It's a beautiful building. Looks like it's been well taken care of. Let's see if we can go right up the stairs here so you can get a nice close up of it. It almost looks like Maybe it was painted at one time. I'm not really sure. It's got really nice detail and the archway around the door. This must be part of this property as well. stairs here. So I think I saw a little photo with this building from one of the movie scenes. Really, really tall doors on this building. So I think I heard that they, the people that own this building now were planning to turn it into um, a really nice restaurant. I think that's what I read. Oh, it's such a nice building. Look it up there at the, the details up there. So nice. So in that picture I was talking about, the photo from the movie scene, uh, I think it was right here, right there, there was a car parked with the man standing beside the car. That's the one photo I saw from the movie scene. If you guys know of others or know anything else about it, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. So let's just take a walk across and go past the building. anything on the building that says like a date of when it was built or anything like that. Look at that nice shell detail up there. It's like a shell shape. It's so beautiful. Really nice arched windows. And you can see they don't really want people coming in and out. They've got barbed wire up here along the wall. 
no trespassing signs, but I'm sure some people probably tried to get in there. You know, a lot of people like those abandoned places. So there you go. There's a nice shot of that building all around. So once again, this was the building that was used for the morgue in that movie, Niagara, starring Marilyn Monroe in 1953. It's got the number there on it, the number 4177. But I think it's Park Street. Park and Zimmerman. So there you go. All right. Let's continue on now. It's a pretty warm day today. On this Saturday, it's Saturday afternoon, around two o'clock. Beautiful day. It's another older looking building way down there. See that one down there? under this low bridge here. Low walkway. One thing I wanted to mention about the weather here is the nights are getting a lot cooler now. Days are getting shorter. You know, maybe about a few weeks ago, the sun would go down about nine o'clock. Now it's about, you know, five after eight, the sun goes down. So days are getting shorter now. Fall is approaching. And now we're turning right onto Queen Street. And I also heard that there, there was another building from that movie Niagara that was used for City Hall, but I don't know if it's here anymore. I'm not sure about that. Park here. Let's just make our way across the street and see the park. big sign says by National Heritage Peace Garden Trail Hatch Peace Garden dedicated October 3rd 2012 so it says on October 3rd 2012 Hatch the city of Niagara Falls members of council collaboratively collaboratively joined together to dedicate this garden as a peace garden. Oh, so that's nice. interesting piece of art. It's 
called the water molecule. Mo water molecule. I can't talk today. I don't know what's going on. I can't talk. The water molecule designed by Mr. Derek Costello, city draftsman. There's one of those Inukshuks. Oh, here's City Hall. Now, is this the same City Hall that was used in that movie? Like the same area? They just rebuilt it or renovated it? I don't know for sure. There's another display here for childhood cancer awareness. And all the ribbons have someone's name on them. Like this one, for instance, is Liam, the survivor. It's nice that they did that. Now, downtown Niagara Falls is a little bit away from, you know, the main tourist area. building right here. It's another nice old one right there. I wonder what that used to be. Looks like something's just opening up here. So we're near Erie Avenue. As you can see, it's not very busy here right now. But I know they offer quite a few different things here to try to bring people out. Like you saw that car show I did that video of. That was a really nice uh, event and it brought lots of people out. Oh, cool. There's a piano here. Let's go see this. I guess just for your enjoyment to play. All painted up really nice nice artwork on it the third space cafe a place for everyone there's an art gallery here too the hub nice look at the cool heart really nice So it tells you the artist there that did the painting on the piano. It's so beautiful. I wonder how it looks inside, if I can open it. Oh yeah. 
to really open it up more. There we go. It's so pretty. So there is some nice shops here, nice cafes and little boutique stores. And you saw back there an art gallery. So there's things to do here, places to eat. I would think it's, you know, worth checking out. So we're just coming up to Queen Street and Ontario Avenue. Dear Devil Alley. Oh, well, you know, we're going to have to go see that. That's something interesting. Oh, cool. Chocolate shop. Oh, okay. So it's got Jay Cochran, and he was a tightrope walker. I've even seen him do this exactly like he's showing here across the hotel buildings. I've seen him do that. So I, that was quite a few years back. There's a nice picture of him here crossing the falls. That's really interesting. Oh, well, and there's this big the cable that he would walk across. This is a nice thing to remember about daredevils. Oh yes, and look at there's more pictures here. I think that might be Blondin. I'm not sure. It could be Blondin. Another tightrope walker there. People going over the falls. Oh my goodness. So I remember this guy here, uh, Jesse Sharp, says he was 28, 28 years old from Tennessee, had been planning to go over Niagara Falls for about 10 years. On June 5th, 1990, attempted to kayak over the Horseshoe Falls and it was his last ride. His red kayak was found intact with only a small dent in the side below the Horseshoe Falls on the Canadian side and his body has never been found. I really remember when that happened, it was on the news and he really thought he was gonna make it. So yeah, that's too bad, sad, but he like, I mean, he was so brave and daring. Shows you all the other people that went over in barrels. the different men and women that did tightrope walking. And there's a barrel. You can probably get your photo taken there. believe how quiet is it is here today. Well, there's an escape room down here, breakout. interesting to see 
people's reactions since I've been doing these walking videos. Some people, you might have seen, they, they love to, to wave and say hi and be on the cameras. And then other people just like run and hide. <laughs> Everyone's different. Okay, there's a deer on top of this building. I don't know why. It's different. Oh, and there's a cool clock here. There's one like that right by the falls, very similar. walk all the way to the end of the street and then that'll be it for our tour. So this across the street here, I'm pretty sure that used to be a record shop called Pop Tones. I'm, I think that's where it was located, I'm pretty sure. If any of you are local and you remember that record shop, let me know. Oh, it's a cool place down here. Approaching Chrysler Avenue. place called Ronnie Dawn's Ice Cream. It's a cool looking ice cream shop. They, have off, they offer milkshakes, and really some nice looking desserts there. <laughs> it's pretty yummy. I think this used to be a movie theater at one time, Seneca Queen.
Oh, look at this place. Movies, games, music. Smallest entertainment store on planet Earth. For real, maybe? <laughs> That's so cool. That's a really tiny shop. Hello! <laughs> That's really unique. I like that. Having a good time. At the end of the street here is Victoria Avenue. And if you turn left on Victoria Avenue and you go down the street, just a little ways, on the left-hand side, there's a country-style donut shop. And if you're ever coming to visit Niagara Falls and you wanna try a really, really, really good wonton soup. They have very good wonton soup there. So that's just something in case you're driving by. It's a good place to stop and especially on a cold day, winter's day. They have very good soup there. They're really well known for that soup. So country style donuts. And we're coming up to the end of the street. It's a big church at the end. donut shop. So you'd head towards the falls. And I think this is, I'm not sure what that building, it must belong to the church. Okay, so we're at the end of the street. Oh, someone's flying. It's a nice car. the end of our walk and I hope you enjoyed the walk the tour downtown Niagara Falls we saw that cool building train station so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next video Bye for now.